What's up guys, welcome to Rampage, it's time to play Pokemon Heart Gold Part 6. So last time we took on the Azalea Gym Leader and got the second Gym Badge, the whatever badge is called, I think it's called the Hive Badge. And a lot of our Pokemon also evolved, I think, I think that's what happened in the last part, correct me if I'm wrong, but we also, not also, but now we have a Furret, a Flaffy, and a Lacoste, well not a Lacoste, what am I talking about, a Furret, Flaffy, and a, um, Whatever is after Tilted Dial. Crocodile, that's what it is. So we have our Lacoste, our Flaffy, and Cinnamon. So now we can pretty much just be on our way. There's no other reason for us to be in this town. Nothing else to do. Actually, did we give Pert, I mean, I said Pert. Did we give Kurt an Apricorn? And if so, let's see if he's made it for us. I'm not sure if we did or not. Okay, so we did, and we got our Heavy Balls. So give us those balls, okay, no homo, all homo, no homo, and let's give him some apricorns so he can make some more balls for us. Let's give him some pink apricorns just because we can get two balls with this, and that's better than one. So yeah, we're going to give him the apricorns, so now let's leave this place seeing as though there's no other reason for us to really be here. And right here, we're going to get stopped by our rival, Shitbag, so we might as well just destroy Shitbag for a little bit. We can we can always do that. So, let's see what Shitbag can really do. Okay. You were challenged by rival Shitbag, and he has a Ghastly right when I would lead with freaking Cinnamon. But it's all good, because I think I have Foresight, which I do, so... Yeah, I'm pretty much good there. I'm just going to go for the Foresight. And I can hit him with my normal moves. He's actually going to go for the Curse like a dumbass would. But it's probably not too dumb because now he'll be able to get the freaking stupid stuff on me. The, um, the, the Curse damage that takes like 25% each turn, which is stupid. So anyway, let's just go for the Quick Attack. That might kill him. Hopefully it does. And we've taken out the Ghastly, so that's cool. We could also switch out so we don't take any damage. Actually, I think we'll take damage anyway, because damage accumulates at the end of the turn in fourth generation. <laughs> Sorry about that. Allergy still. Anyway, a Zubat's coming out, so we should just go out in a Flaffy, because Flaffy can do Flaffy stuff. Or basically, we could just Thundershock this thing to Oblivion. So that's what we're going to do to this Zubat. Let's go for the T-Shock. And somehow we outspeed, even though Flappy's not that fast, and Zubat is kind of fast. But anyway, we outsped, go for the Thundershock, and easily take out the Zubat. So that's cool, that's cool. And we get a little bit of experience. Last Pokemon is a Bayleaf. I really don't have many Pokemon to combat this at the moment, so I'm just going to leave Flappy in for now. And then I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave, I believe. Yeah, Thunder Wave, just so I can try and get this thing down low enough. He's going to go for the Poison Powder. And that's going to be gay because that's just going to wear out my Flaffy. But I really don't have anything to take on this Big Leaf. So I'm going to have to fix that. Anyway, we're just going to go for the Thunder Wave. And hopefully this thing can get some Parahacks. Well, hopefully we can get Parahacks on this thing. I don't know. Let's just go out in the Lacoste. Not probably the best move because Grass versus Water is you know favorable towards Grass. But I do get Parahax, which is nice, so let's just start firing off Bites on this thing. This might take a while, so I'll speed up. And another Parahax, which is cool. And then Flinch. Uh, para flinching, that's the best combo ever. Except he has Synthesis and he hits it off. But another Flinch and Poison Powder. As long as he doesn't heal, I'm good, and he doesn't. So, we took out the Bayleaf and got a level with... Um, wait, no, we didn't get a level. What am I talking about? Anyway... Yeah, we beat this guy, so we can just, after he stops talking, we can go back to the Pokemon Center, heal up real quick, and then leave this town forever. Well, maybe not forever, who knows. Anyway, let's just go heal up. Yes. Stupid Pokemon Center music. Anyway. Wow, we have, a, we have a big party, actually. Five Pokemon, even though we don't use two of them. It's still, it's still kind of a lot of Pokemon. Anyway, let's leave now for good this time. And we can venture on into this place. So first, let's... First, let's see what this guy has to say. See if he gives us anything. No, he doesn't. And I don't care about what that lady has to say. Pretty sure she won't give us anything. 
Yeah. Oops, didn't mean to talk to her twice. Anyway, let's just come to Alex Forest, and as you can see, there's a Paris right there, so that means you can find Paris here, which is, you know, whatever. And let's not do anything with this Metapod, because I really don't care about it. Well, we can... No, I don't want to kill it. It's not going to get much experience. So... Okay. Anyway, here's this loser guy. Oh man, my boss is going to be angry. The farfetch that cuts trees for... the Yeah, the farfetch that cuts trees for charcoal took off in the forest. Can you catch them for me? Farfetch have sensitive ears. If you step on the branch, they will face toward you. That's your chance. Sneak up from behind and catch them. Do you think you can do that? Of course I could do that. Why wouldn't I be able to do that? I'm a fucking ninja. Gosh. So anyway... Let's get the Farfetch attention. Okay, he noticed me. That's cool. And all we gotta do is sneak up from behind him, which should be pretty easy. Yep. And... Gotcha, bitch. So that was easy enough. But there's still another Farfetch we're gonna have to catch, so... The second Farfetch is gonna be a little bit more difficult, but still not too big of a problem for me to catch, because... I am a Pokemon Master, and I catch Pokemon all day, so... Let's get this revive first, just in case one of our Pokemon faints. And let's look for this Farfetch, wherever it's at. Is it over here? Where the fuck is it at? Okay, it's right there. Um, let's just go this way. I'm like, it's gonna take a couple of steps for us to get this thing anyway, so... Don't even know what point I was trying to establish there. Don't care about this Metapod. And we're just going to run because Metapods don't get that good of experience at this level. And let's see what way the Farfetch is going to go. It's going to go that way. Now it's looking at us, but we can't go from behind from there. Okay, I got a plan. I got a plan. I got a plan. I got a plan. Hopefully it's a good one. Alright, so we're going to do this. Then this. Okay. And then all the way over here. Around. And bam, gotcha, bitch. <laughs> so we got both the far fetches, but we don't have a Pokemon. Well, we do have Pokemon that can learn Cut, but I don't want to teach Cut to any of my main guys. So I'm probably gonna have to go catch a Pokemon. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna record me looking for a Pokemon to learn Cut. I'm just gonna cut that out. Ha! <laughs> that was that was a pun, unintentional though. And I'm just gonna cut that out and be right back here. As soon as I find a Pokemon that can learn Cut. So I'm going to do that right now. I'll be right back. So I'm back and I've caught a Rattata. So I'm pretty sure Rattata can learn Cut. So we'll just teach Cut to this Rattata. So let's do that. And oh yeah, also the guys left. Because as soon as you leave Ilex Forest and then come back, they're just disappeared. So anyway, let's T-Yums, H-Yums and teach this thing Cut. And... Rattata can be our cut slave for the rest of the game. Rattata wants to learn cut. Why, why does this thing already have four moves? Gosh. Anyway, we'll just get rid of tackle since I don't care about any of the moves. And voila. Cut. We now have cut and no more tackle. But it doesn't matter because we're not using the Rattata anyway except for slave bother. So anyway, let's cut down the tree now. Our emo, uh, our emo Rattata. I was about to say emo wild cheese. Kind of, it, it kind of just comes natural, but our emo Rattata has cut down the tree. So anyway, what's over here? Nothing over there. Well, there's probably a hidden item, but I don't feel like going back. Actually, was there? Yeah, there is an item. Never mind, I will go back for it. And get this. X attack. Wow, that's so useless. I don't even care about that. Anyway, let's just make our way right after this random encounter with a Metapod. You know what? Try to see these things, so I'm going to take one of them out because they're just going to keep following me. Gosh. Anyway, there's a fat guy down there. We'll go see what his story is right about now, so... Let's just do that. And actually, this guy is pretty... Pretty important. Not that... Well, not important so much, but he's actually pretty useful. Because he's going to teach one of your Pokemon a headbutt. And I have the perfect Pokemon to learn a headbutt on this team, so... Yeah, I want you to teach headbutt to my... Cinnamon, because it's stab and cinnamon, you know, is more physically orientated. So let's get rid of Fury Swipes. Fury Swipes is not needed. And we can teach him Headbutt. 
So that's cool. And I don't think I want any of my other guys on our head, but it's not really useful on any other guys. I'm like, well, it can be useful. But I don't think it will be that much. Anyway, let's use Headbutt, see if we can find a Pokemon or not. And find a Pokemon. No, no, okay. Well, let's try this tree. And let's see what we can find. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, that sucks. Anyway, now we're just gonna continue upwards. And here's another Kimono girl, so let's see what her story is, or hear what her story is. She got lost in the Alex Forest, and she's the same one from Violet City. Anyway, will you show me how to get out the forest? I guess I can. Um, so yeah, Ferd, go show her the way, and Ferd's gonna go do that. And yeah, fun stuff. No, you should have just stayed where you were. I was gonna go there anyway. Anyway, first let's headbutt the tree. I didn't mean to headbutt this tree though. I meant to actually get that item. But we can headbutt the tree while we're at it, and nothing happens. So let's just get this. It's an ether, 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 tomato, tomato. Don't even know how to say it though. Let's red headbutt one of these random trees. And this is my this is the last time I'm headbutting in this forest. If it doesn't, if nothing happens, something happened. Okay. That was, that was completely useless to hit, but in the forest. Anyway, here's a Caterpie. Definitely don't care about this thing, so I'm just going to run. Because it's not going to give out much experience, and yeah, it's just a waste of time. So anyway, we're almost at the end of the forest. And now we're at the end of the forest. Let's talk to this person, see what she has to say. Yes, I am making a Pokedex. And she gives us TM12, which I think is Taunt. Um, yeah, it's taunt. So she gives us taunt, which is pretty cool. Let's see what this guy has to say. Or girl, or whatever you are. Something about grass-type Pokemon in the shrine, so I'm guessing she was talking about Celebi. And now we can just battle this guy. This is where I do my training. Good for you. Want a cookie? Anyway, um... He has four guys. One's a Rattata. At level 7, we, we just called ourselves a level 7 Rattata, so that's pretty cool. Scratch should be able to take this thing out, and it's an easy KO. Sandshrew. Headbutt might be able to take this thing out one hit, hopefully. No, not yet. Anyway, we'll just go for Scratch. That will take him out, and now we're at level 16. A Spearow. Sean can easily take that on, but so can Cinnamon, so we're just going to stay and go for the Headbutt. Easy KO all over the place. Easy KOs all over the place. And we're going to go for a last Headbutt and take out the last Spearow. So we're just going to move upwards and talk to this bald guy. I think he might have Pikachus. I think that's what he has. And no, I was wrong. He has a Snubble. So I'm stupid. Anyway, we're going to go for the Headbutt. And that's going to be a 2 KO because he did get Intimidate off on me, which sucks. But he has a Mareep. Don't want to stay in on that. Well, yeah, I do. I will. I'm like, I might get Static, but I don't want anything else to take this on. And I do get Static because this game is gay. And then paralyzed. Oh my gosh, stupid ass game. Not really. So let's heal up. Um, let's look for our paralyzed heals or cherry berries if we have any. No cherry berries. But we do have four paralyzed heals, so that's cool. We can just use that. And yeah. So let's resume the training for cinnamon. And that sounds stupid congested right now. Like. My allergies have not been bad bothering me that bad lately, but like as soon as I get in front of the microphone, I have to sound like this. Oh my gosh. Anyway, thank you. That's not the best matchup. Hold up. Excuse me real quick. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, let's go for the headbutt. Well, if I raise my voice a lot, it doesn't really sound too bad, so I guess I'll try to stay a little bit louder. Anyway, let's go for the headbutt. Take the Mankey out real easy. Almost get a level. Next is a Diglett. We might be able to outspeed and take this out. And we do. So that's cool. So now we're at level 17. Caught up with um, Flaffy. And no, I don't want to learn Helping Hand. So we're just going to not learn that. And put Lacoste in front. I think I want to put Lacoste. Lacoste. I said Lacoste. Lacoste in front. Um, do I want your number? Not really. Oh, well, no. You said we can battle together, so sure, why not? As long as we can battle, I'll take your number. No homo, because you're a guy and all. 
Anyway, let's um put that one guy in front, that Lacoste in front, and get Lacoste some experience. And who do I want? To, there, I know there are other people here. So anyway, let's talk to this picnicker, camper, whatever this girl is. And just beat up her Pokemon real quick. So I wonder what she has. She has a, a Hoppip. And I have Bite. Hopefully someone hit KO. And it is, so that's cool. Another Hoppip. We can just take this thing out with another Bite. And that's easy. Easy experience. And a Bulbasaur. Let's just stay in and go for two Bites, hopefully. Oh, no, oh, oh while well, I was an, almost a one-hit KO, let's just go for the Scratch and easily take out the Bulbasaur. So, we don't gotta worry about her. Okay, she says she picks up items. So, we can use her. She can give us some stuff, so... It's, it's nothing. We, we can take her number. I wonder what you can find in this grass. Let's see. You can find... Uh, Rattatas in this grass. I remember distinctly that you can find... Drowsy and Ditto in this grass. It's kind of rare to be able to find Ditto so early on in the game as well, so that's pretty cool. You might want to take advantage of that. Even though Ditto is pretty useless in game unless you want to breed. So anyway, here comes Lyra talking to her grandfather over there. So I'm guessing that's her grandfather. Then she notices me because I'm Rampage, of course. And I gotta follow her into the daycare center, which is this building right here. And I'm guessing this is her mother. Oh my gosh, that black screen was on there for a long time. I thought it was about to have a black screen glitch. But luckily I got this wrong patch, so hopefully there should be no black screen glitches. If there are, I would be highly upset. But anyway, that's be besides the point. Okay, that was pretty useless. And no, we, we, and no we're not going out or anything. She's just going to give me her number though, because that's what Lyra does. Like, Lyra is one of the biggest trolls in this game. She will call you for no reason. No, I, okay, at the end of the game, I remember, she will call you and say that her Meryl evolved. But if you go back to Newbar Town, go to Lyra's house, and go to her room, she will still have the fucking Meryl. Like, she is a huge troll. I hate, I hate Lyra. Whatever. Um, don't want to leave any Pokemon with the daycare lady, so we're just going to leave. And here's the daycare man. Probably gonna give us his numbers so that if we do leave a Pokemon there, we can always check up on them. So that's actually pretty useful. One of the more useful phone numbers in this game. <laughs> anyway, we can leave. See if this guy wants to battle. I don't think it's nighttime yet, so he won't battle us. But if you 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 battle the police officers at nighttime, pretty much. And okay, let's battle this girl, just because experience is cool. I don't really want to see anything that you have, but I have no choice really, so let's just take out your Psyduck. And I've always thought Psyduck was Psychic type just because in the anime, this thing, like, in the anime, Misty Psyduck, that thing always used, like, freaking Confusion and Psychic whenever it got a headache, so I always thought it was a Psychic type. But it's not. Oh no, why'd I get this? Why'd I get this person's phone number? I don't even know why. I just randomly pressed A. I just got like four phone numbers on this route. That's gonna be so annoying. So anyway, here's the drowsy I was talking about that you can find. So let's just battle this drowsy real quick. Forewarn. Is it forewarn? Yeah, forewarn alerted him to my bite or whatever, don't care. Still a one hit KO, and we can get this TM63 embargo, which is completely useless. So, now we are in the city of Goldenrod, one of the coolest cities in my opinion. It's a pretty swell town, pretty cool. Um, you got, you know, a gym over here, a flower shop, a railroad, or is this a railroad? It's not, it's a train station. Train station, radio tower, with team, well, Team Rock is here. You also have GTS over here, which is pretty cool. This is definitely only in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. This isn't in the original Gold and Silver because there was no GTS in Gold and Silver. Because you couldn't. There was no Wi Fi for Gold and Silver, pretty much. At least I don't think there was. Casino, which freaking got nerfed so much in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. And the big ass shopping mall where you can get a lot of items and shit. The bike. The bike. T uh, the bike. Shop is right there, I think. It's this building over here, which I'm going to deal with that stuff next episode. 
Pokemon Center, and that's where we're going to end this episode at. So, I hope you guys all enjoy. If you did, please push that like button. Also, <coughs> oh my gosh, excuse me. Sorry about that. If you did enjoy this, please leave a like button. Also, leave a comment. I do enjoy your comments, and I guess I'll see you guys in the near future. Hope you all have a wonderful day. This is Rampage here, signing out. Goodbye.